Welcome everyone to Yerushalayim. And thank you for inviting me on your journey through Parshish Pinchas. Pinchas displayed Mesiris Nefesh for his love for Klai Yisrael, his love for Hashem. And as a result, received an amazing, amazing schar. L'chein Amor, says the Pasuk in, in Rishon, Hineni no sein lois brisi shalom. Hashem is promising Pinchas brisi shalom. In addition, he has promised bris kuhunas olam. Brisi shalom, bris kuhunas olam, the entire lineage of kuhuna gedola emanated through Pinchas. Brisi shalom, Pinchas merited longevity which was beyond comprehension, especially according to those who say that Pinchas was Eliyahu, he's still alive. What did he do that through his, through his action that he merited such a tremendous sakhar. Simply speaking, he ensured that Klai Yisrael would continue living. In the merit of bringing life to Jews, he merited life. The Gemara tells us in Tanis, once a plague broke out in Surah, but there was no plague in the neighborhood of Rav. People thought it was Rav Zuchus. They received a dream, it wasn't Rav Zuchus. Rather, it was the merit of a certain man who would lend a shovel and a spade for burials. He took care of burying people. The whole neighborhood was spared death. Once a fire broke out in the chorus, there was no fire in the neighborhood of Rav Huna. People thought it was, a, it was the merit of Rav Huna. They received a dream that it was the merit of a certain woman who every Arab Shabbos would light her oven and share it with her neighbors. Just as a chus of sharing her oven with the neighbors spared the entire neighborhood from conflagration. Imagine. The Gemara tells us that a person who does Shnai Mikra Ve'echa Targum is Zochat Tarich HaSiyamim. So each and every one of you who are encouraging Arich HaSiyamim throughout the world, imagine what schar you're going to get to protect you and your children and everyone around you.